Syringes are in famous for inflicting pain on us. But can we use them to lift heavy weights by making a hydraulic jack? Sounds impossible? We have someone who will show you how science and a bit of imagination can do wonders. Meet Arvind Gupta. He believes that by making simple toys, you can learn the most complex scientific principles. Well, you might have seen cars being hauled up in auto service station with a hydraulic jack. This enables to clean the underbelly of the car. With a hydraulic jack, you are able to lift a very heavy weight with little effort. But can we make a hydraulic jack? Well, you certainly can, using very simple equipment like brand new syringes, plastic tubes, wooden board, and very simple home equipment. For this, you will need one rectangular wooden plank, four long wooden columns, a mug of water, one CD holder base, one bicycle spoke, one meter of plastic tube, two ball bearings, one new big syringe, two new small syringes, one spool of thread, some copper wire and one empty refill. Visit your local carpenter for the wooden base and columns and a chemist for the syringes. Your bicycle repairman will give you the spoke and the copper wire. Step 1. Stick two columns on top of the base at the edges by applying strong adhesive. These should act as pillars for the fat syringe. Ensure that the gap between them is wide enough for the fat syringe. Test it before you glue them on. Now paste the other two planks on the side of the plank on the opposite side, right next to the edges. You will get this structure. Step 2. Now take both the syringes and insert the ball bearings in them. Once this is done, take one syringe and make a half centimeter wide hole near its mouth like this. Now take another syringe and make a one fourth centimeter wide hole near its mouth again. Simple. Step 3. Now comes the assembly. Take the syringe with the smaller hole and insert a 2 inch refill into it. Now take the other syringe and insert a 6 inch plastic tube into its hole. Now the 6-inch plastic tube is attached to the mouth of the first syringe, as shown. We will be inserting an 8-inch plastic tube to this refill later on in the assembly. Insert a 2-inch refill to the hole of the first syringe. Insert a 6-inch tube to the hole of the second syringe. Attach this 6-inch tube to the mouth of the first syringe. Step 4. Now take the second syringe with its mouth open and attach a foot-long plastic tube into its mouth. This syringe is a pump and this tube will be inserted in a mug of water later. Step 5. Now with pliers, bend the bicycle spoke into an L shape. Leaving a gap of 1 inch, make another bend and it becomes a U. Make another bend and you will have this rectangular shaped bicycle spoke bracket. Clasp the ends tightly. Make sure it is big enough to completely clasp the two wooden columns that you had struck earlier on the side of rectangular plank. Attach the brackets to the two wooden columns as shown with some tape. Step 6. Now back to a simple step. After having placed the brackets on the lower wooden columns, invert the big syringe and stick it upside down between the two top columns on the plank. Now take out the circular part of the CD base in the center and paste it tightly over the syringe's handle as well. Step 7. Now we secure the syringe assembly to the two columns with spokes. Take the syringe with the long pipe coming out of its mouth Fit it between the two spokes and tie the syringe with copper wire around one column as shown. Now take the second syringe. As you can see, we have attached a long pipe to the refill already. Insert this long pipe between the two spokes and tie the syringe with some wire as well. Simple. Step 8. We are almost through. Now take the long pipe coming out of the refill and attach it to the mouth of the fat syringe secured in the opposite side. Once this is done, take the remaining long tube and insert it in the mug of water. The toy is ready!
Step 9. Finally, let's see if our hard work pays off. Put the CD base on the fat syringe's top, followed by some really heavy books. Now start pumping the syringe with the tube in water. This is our pump. Would you believe it? Just by pumping it, you will be able to lift all the books on top of the fat syringe. This is just unbelievable. We have made our very own homemade hydraulic jack. This is based on Pascal's principle that if you have a container filled with a fluid, then at every point in the container, there is equal pressure. If I have a big syringe and a small syringe connected by a tube and filled with water, and if I were to press the small syringe, pressure would be transmitted and the big pistol would be lifted a little bit. Because once I press the small syringe, pressure is the same in the entire assembly, the big syringe is lifted. But because the big syringe has much more surface area, so the force exerted on the big syringe is much more. Suppose the diameter of the small syringe was one square centimeter and the big syringe was five square centimeters, then theoretically the small syringe, if you put a one kilogram weight, it would be able to lift a five kilogram weight. Now keep collecting all kinds of household objects. You never know which one will become a part of your next big experiment. Watch Topper for more amazing scientific toys.